Understanding gout. Gout attacks can be really painful and disruptive, but there's more to gout than just the attacks. In this chapter, you'll learn about the causes of gout and what it means to have gout, the disease, which is there even between the attacks. Gout happens when there's too much uric acid in your body, so much uric acid that it starts forming uric acid crystals in and around your joints. The crystals cause gout attacks and other problems from gout like damage to the joints and gout lumps called tophi. Without uric acid crystals, there is no gout or any other problems caused by gout. The whole chain of events is what we call gout. The first part, where there's too much uric acid accumulating to the point that uric acid crystals start forming, happens quietly. You don't feel this at all, and it can take many years for the crystals to form. But as long as the uric acid level stays high, more crystals will keep on forming and the crystals are not getting broken down. To simplify things going forward, let's call this part of the chain gout the disease. The second part of the chain is the part where the uric acid crystals, which are already sitting in and around your joints, get disturbed and cause a really painful attack. These disturbed crystals in the joints are treated like foreign invaders, so your immune system moves in for battle. Since immune cells can't break down uric acid crystals, their battle doesn't do much other than increase inflammation, swelling, and pain. After a while, your immune cells give up and move on, which ends the gout attack. But the uric acid crystals remain, at risk of getting disturbed again and triggering another gout attack. To simplify things going forward, let's call this part of the chain gout attack. So when we're trying to understand gout, it's helpful to answer two separate questions. What causes gout the disease? And what causes a gout attack? Let's answer the first question. What causes gout the disease? Gout the disease is caused by too much uric acid in the blood. Too much uric acid in the blood over time leads to formation of uric acid crystals. To start out with, this is a molecule of uric acid. Uric acid circulates in your blood. We'll use the fluid level in this tub to represent the amount of uric acid circulating in your blood. You have two main sources of uric acid. The first source is from the daily breakdown of your cells, which is a normal, healthy process going on all the time in your cells. When the DNA in your cells is broken down, something called purines are made, which are then broken down into uric acid, which is released into your circulation. The amount of uric acid you make this way stays fairly steady every day. The other source of uric acid comes from foods that contain a lot of purines. Some foods contain more purines than others. For more information about this, be sure to check out the diet and gout chapter. Normally, the amount of uric acid entering your circulation equals the amount of uric acid exiting your circulation, which keeps the overall level of uric acid stable. Uric acid exits the circulation mainly through being urinated out by your kidneys, but your gut helps out a bit too. The balance between making uric acid and removing uric acid is what determines the uric acid level in your blood. Here's an example. Let's say you eat a whole bunch of foods with extra purines, which are then converted to uric acid, while keeping everything else the same. That means your cells are still breaking down normally, and your kidneys and gut are still getting rid of the uric acid at the same pace. In this case, your uric acid level is probably going to increase a bit. Most of the time though, the reason for a high uric acid level is that the kidneys are not getting rid of the uric acid as well as they should. This could be for a number of reasons. You might have been born with kidneys that don't get rid of the uric acid as well as others. This is probably the most common cause and the biggest factor in developing high uric acid levels. You might develop kidney disease later in life that makes your kidneys less effective at getting rid of uric acid. Or you might start a medication that interferes with your kidney's ability to get rid of uric acid. Any of these things can cause your uric acid level to go up. Having a high uric acid level by itself isn't gout though. 
Gout happens when a high uric acid level causes uric acid crystals to start forming. When it comes to making uric acid crystals, the number to remember is a uric acid level of 6 mg per deciliter. You can find out your uric acid level by a blood test. If the uric acid level stays below 6 mg per deciliter in the blood, uric acid crystals can't form. With no crystals, there are no gout attacks. If the uric acid level rises and stays above 6 though, your body will start making uric acid crystals. The higher the level of uric acid, the more likely you are to form these crystals. Your body stores these crystals in joints and other tissues, and it will keep making these crystals as long as the uric acid level stays high. On the other hand, if you can lower the uric acid level and keep it below 6, the crystals will start to dissolve, and with no crystals, there are no gout attacks. Let's talk a little bit about how uric acid dissolved in the blood becomes uric acid crystals. Uric acid crystals start with individual molecules of uric acid flipped on their sides and stacked up, kind of like a roll of coins. They can keep on stacking. This process results in a long needle-shaped crystal that is visible under a microscope. So why does a high uric acid level lead to crystals being formed? You can think of it as a matter of how crowded the uric acid molecules get. When the uric acid level is low, the uric acid molecules don't get crowded enough to stack together. When the uric acid level goes up, the uric acid molecules get a lot more crowded. The molecules get so crowded that they start stacking and crystals start forming. As long as the uric acid stays high, crystals keep on forming. These crystals can become lumps called tophi, like the one seen here on the foot. The foot is a common place for crystals to form, but crystals can form in just about any other joint, and if they're left untreated, they can cause permanent damage to your joints. Developing gout doesn't happen overnight. Living with a high uric acid level and forming uric acid crystals can take years or even decades before it becomes a noticeable problem. Fortunately, gout can be cured using medication to lower the uric acid level in the blood and dissolve the crystals, but this can take months. For more information about lowering the uric acid level, be sure to check out the Curing Gout chapter. Let's go back now and answer the question, what causes a gout attack? A gout attack happens when your immune system reacts to uric acid crystals and begins to attack the crystals. To better understand this, let's take a closer look at what happens in the joint when someone with gout experiences an attack. In someone with gout, uric acid crystals have already formed in and around the joints. The crystals are always there, even between gout attacks. That's what having gout the disease means. A gout attack starts when these crystals get disturbed. They can get disturbed physically or by a change in blood uric acid levels. There are lots of things that can change the blood uric acid level. What you eat or drink can make your uric acid level go up. Red meat, beer, and high fructose corn syrup are examples of foods and drinks that contain a lot of purines, which are converted to uric acid in your body and raise your uric acid blood level. Changing kidney function for any reason can affect the uric acid level. If your kidneys start to remove uric acid faster or slower than normal, your blood uric acid levels will change too. Medications can also change your uric acid levels. For example, diuretics, which are medications that make you urinate more, can increase your uric acid level. Finally, dehydration can make your uric acid level go up too. Any of these things can disturb uric acid crystals in the joints. When crystals get disturbed, your immune system notices it and gets activated, which is what leads to the pain, heat, and swelling of a gout attack. There are immune system cells constantly monitoring the crystals. These cells are quiet and relaxed unless the crystals get disturbed. When this happens, the immune cells activate and try to fight them. This process results in inflammation, pain, and potential damage to the joint. Eventually, the immune cells calm down and go back to being quiet again. The attack is over for now, 
but the crystals remain and may get disturbed again, triggering another attack. Now that we know how to define gout the disease and gout attacks, let's put our knowledge together. High uric acid levels over time cause gout the disease by forming uric acid crystals throughout the body. This can take years to happen and you normally don't feel it. When these crystals in the joints are disturbed, the immune system activates and a gout attack happens. You can definitely feel the pain, swelling, and heat of this part of gout. There are medications that lower the uric acid level, which can slowly dissolve all the crystals. With no crystals, there can be no attacks and gout is cured. There are also medications that reduce the pain and inflammation of a gout attack, but they don't do anything to lower uric acid or get rid of the crystals, so they do not cure gout the disease and do not prevent future attacks. You'll find out a lot more about treatments in other chapters.